What if I told you that you can now make AI chatbots within just minutes, share them and then eventually put them out on a store for others to use so you can do stuff like this. AI news never stops coming. Anyway, let's get into it. So this past week, OpenAI had their very first dev day and they announced a bunch of things. But one of the most exciting announcements according to me was the introduction of GPTs. These GPTs are essentially tailored versions of ChatGPT that perform a specific task. Welcome back to the channel everyone where we talk about AI and technology to what it means and its implications to how you can simplify your life to even monetize AI. So if you want to follow more content like this, just hit the subscribe button. All right, so let's talk a bit more about these GPTs. So early in the year, we saw a bunch of folks create AI agents with the open AI APIs and try it out on the internet. Fun times, and I can't believe that it was just eight or nine months ago. Anywho, these GPTs are essentially AI agents or chatbots that are tailored versions of ChatGPT for a specific purpose. However, the difference is now you can build them within ChatGPT instead of making them using APIs without writing any code. Oh, and you need to know that you need a ChatGPT Plus subscription to make the GPTs. So here's a custom GPT that I made for converting PDFs, web URLs or extracts into tailored tweets in a specific tone. Another example of custom GPT is font GPT that was made by Mari Swaran, which allows you to create fonts with a single word. And you can just keep making as many GPTs as you want to serve your needs. And this is really, really cool. So you might be wondering, but I can do that with the existing chat GPT. How are these GPTs really different? Well, what makes these GPTs different is that while ChatGPT relies on the knowledge it's trained on and relies on that or a web search to generate responses, GPTs can be customized to almost anything with a specific instruction set. Well, you can also expand its knowledge by specifically adding data and you can have GPT know this extra knowledge specific to what you want it to know. Now, Taylor Peterson on Twitter, who I follow, expanded on this idea in one of her tweets where she shared her experience with GPTs, where she took a bunch of her specific knowledge as training data and then made this GPT that she calls the sauce curator, which is her newsletter agent. She also talks about how this is so powerful for content creators and internet entrepreneurs. I will link it in the description and I feel like you should kind of read it. It's pretty cool. Another thing that makes these GPTs exciting is that you can publish these and share them with everyone out there. Later this month, OpenAI will bring out the GPT store where these GPTs will be available for anyone to use if you make them public and accessible. And OpenAI will actually be doing revenue sharing with those whose GPTs are utilized by everyone. I mean, talk about another side hustle, lots to see on how this will work, but it's a really, really promising direction. Another reason I like this direction is because if we create GPT agents under the OpenAI umbrella, I feel there will be checks kept in place to make sure these things are secure and we are not breaking the internet. There is uh, something about when people say, I have an AI agent running on the internet, we don't want it to go out of control. Uh, we have all seen Avengers Age of Ultron. And I think if uh, agents run within the GPT store ecosystem, we can monitor, watch, and kind of control what's going on. So I think it's a step in the direction of security, which is really good, and I like that. All right, so here's how you can make a chat GPT yourself, and let's go through it. All right, so we'll go click on create a GPT and then start giving it instruction on what we need. So here I'm, I'm making a friendly wingman that kind of gives us some advice on relationships and helps us with understanding the other person in a relationship. So we're going to go through this. We're going to give it some instructions. So it's coming up with the name. It gave us this name called Wingman Wally, which I like, but I wanted to kind of change it. So here uh, it came up with another name, Wingman Willy. I don't really like it. It kind of came up with this new profile pic. So I can just go in and kind of configure and change the name to Wingman Pro, which is a name that I kind of like. Now we're going to keep giving it some instructions around, you know, what kind of profile pic we want. So it's going to ask us, okay, these are some different styles that it can generate for us. So I'm going to say, okay, generate a style in the, you know, pixel art uh, character. So, it, so it's going to generate this style, which I kind of like. And 
we're gonna you know stick with it and ask it to kind of apply that style so that's pretty good we like it we're gonna continue now i'm gonna say okay consider this for you know early stage relationship guidance as well as uh, for folks who are you know in ongoing relationships or even married so that is the purview in which the guidance kind of falls in so i'm giving it some intelligence giving it some specific information and it's kind of updating the model now and now that it's understood that it's going to ask us hey what kind of tone or you know things that you should not be doing so i'm going to say anything that requires a doctor's advice make sure that you kind of refer to the doctor and don't give advice on medical matters now we're going to test it out and i'm going to say what is a good idea for a date and it kind of gave us this result that looks pretty good let's continue all right so now i'm going to say okay be encouraging and make sure that you are not pushy just give your advice and be a friend or be a bro all right so this looks pretty good and now i'm bringing in some custom data in where i'm gonna say okay i want you to be aware of some extra data point and this is specific to what i want you to do this is you know uh, data around how you can improve communication in the relationship and this is some data for that and also some specific exercises to improve communication so whenever somebody asks this question this can actually go back and lean on that extra information that i have provided so this is really cool because i am actually now increasing the knowledge of chat gpt by creating this gpt with external information and knowledge this is really good and the chatbot is ready and now i can actually publish it out to anyone so anyone with the link can actually access it pretty cool all right so now we'll test it out and one of the first things we'll ask is hey what does it mean when a woman says i'm fine because it can mean a lot of things right so it's giving us some options where it says oh well she might be actually fine she's not fine so just like how bro really talks to you this is kind of giving you advice and now i added like a screenshot of a message that i got and then i'm asking hey how do i respond to this message what does she really mean and you know it's giving you some options <laughs> this is just like a fun gpt that i created you know for you know <laughs> just because i was thinking about it and i think it's pretty cool uh, that anybody can make you know kind of anything and again i went back refresh and i'm asking okay give me some ideas for a date night so what you're seeing here is you know you have a bot or a chat bot that is specifically doing a particular task that is relationship advice and this is just the tip of the iceberg there are a lot of people who are going to make some crazy gpts which are going to be really fun to see anyways i think the only group that i've seen uh, the gpts really affect is probably the ai automation agencies who are creating them for folks on the internet the amount of memes i have seen on open ai killing startups is unbelievable and funny nevertheless i feel like this is going to be a game changer for all of us who use chat gpt and definitely a lot of positives and christmas like energy floating around there are a bunch of other cool gpts that i have seen online that are more complex and are very interesting i will link them in the description or you can just follow me on twitter to see what they are what do you think about gpts and what are you going to make let me know in the comment section until i see you again stay true Stay consistent.